Hello everyone, this is Noble H. Mushtack, and today we are here with another main association of Math Leaks problem from February 2011, Meet 4, Round 4, Problem 3, Functions. So this is the full round, all three problems that you would see in an actual competition. Try to pause here and see if you can do all three problems, or maybe just the first two, within 12 minutes, since that's the actual time in the competition. Okay, so we're going to be doing problem number three on the list, which says, let f of x be a function such that f of x plus f of 1 over 1 minus x equals x for all x not equal to 0 or 1. Find the exact value of f of 2. So there's a lot in this problem, but basically, we have a recursive function and it says for all x not equal to 0 or 1, it actually turns out that we won't need to worry about that. The reason it says that is so that there's no division by 0. Because if you substitute 1 into this equation, then you'll get 1 over 0, which is doesn't make sense. So we just can just ignore for all x not equal to 0 or 1, because we want to find f of 2. So that doesn't apply to our situation. So we use this equation to find f of 2. So first, we need to plug in x equals 2 into the equation. And then we get f of 2 plus f of negative 1 equals 2. So now we have f of negative 1. So now we need to find that. And so we plug in negative 1. So we get f of negative 1. And then this simplifies to f of 1 half equals negative 1. So now we need to find f of 1 half, so you plug in 1 half. f of 1 half plus f of, this simplifies to f of 2, equals 1 half. So now we've gotten back to f of 2. How did I know that was going to happen? I didn't. It's just that in main association of athletes problem, when they give you a recursive function like this, it almost always goes back to the original within two or three steps. Here, we, it took one, two, three steps. In most problems, it takes two steps, but there are multiple problems like this where you have to keep plugging back in and you'll eventually get back to the original like we did here. And that's just how these problems work. So... If we look at all of the equations, f of 2 plus f of negative 1 equals 2, f of negative 1 plus f of 1 half equals negative 1, and f of 1 half plus f of 2 equals 1 half, we have three equations and three unknowns, f of 2, f of negative 1, f of 1 half. We want to solve for f of 2, so the way I'm going to do this is that look at the first equation, and I'm going to solve for f of negative 1, look at the second equation, and I'm going to solve for f of 1 half. So that way we have both f of negative 1 and f of 1 half in terms of f of 2. And then once we do that, we substitute back into the second equation, and then we solve for f of 2. So first I'm going to solve for f of negative 1 and f of 1 half, and I've done that here. So the first equation, so subtract both sides by f of 2, and you get f of negative 1 equals 2 minus f of 2. And for the third equation, you get subtract by f of 2, and you get f of 1 half equals 1 half minus f of 2. Okay, so now we go back to the second equation, and then we use these equations to substitute in terms of f of 2. So now we get 2 minus f of 2 plus 1 half minus f of 2 equals negative 1. Add like terms, 5 halves minus 2 f of 2 equals negative 1. Subtract both sides by 5 halves. Negative 2 f of 2 equals negative 7 halves. Divide both sides by negative 2. The negatives cancel out, and you get f of 2 equals 7 fourths. And that is the answer, 7 fourths. So yeah. I think this problem is... Confusing if you've never seen a problem like it before, but there are multiple problems like this in Meet 4, Round 4. So I did this problem because I thought it was an important type of problem to understand. Hopefully you understand the process for solving 
problems with recursive functions like this and how you can substitute and then substitute again and then substitute again and then you can solve this system of equations and that's basically the idea behind this kind of problem so i hope you like this problem and have fun doing math